Hello, magical butterflies. This is X Tina from Butterfly Intuition, Divine Guidance. I hope you are having a magical day, night, or afternoon. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. If you are interested in booking a guidance reading or a guidance session with me, they can be booked in my Etsy shop. The link to my Etsy shop, along with my list of services, is listed below. If you are interested in purchasing one of the decks I created or the Twin Flame Music deck I co-created with my soul sister, if you are in the United States, you can purchase them in my Etsy shop. If you are international, there is a special ordering link for you below. My social media links, my blog website, are listed below. If you want to support my channel and send a butterfly gratitude donation as an energy exchange, my links for donations are listed below. This reading is going to be the Vision Intuition Monthly Forecast for June 2021. This is going to be general. This can apply to all areas of life. Please use your own discernment when watching this video. Please only take the message or messages that speak directly to your soul. And what doesn't speak to your soul, release it and let it fly. Let's get into the theme for June of 2021. Just a little mini disclaimer, all my readings are intended to be timeless, so this reading can apply to anyone who is guided to my channel at any given time or space. The deck I'm going to be using for the theme is the Fairy Wisdom Oracle by Nancy and Amy Brown. So I'm going to pull one card and I'm going to use the book to get the meaning of the card and then I will bring forth the message for the theme. So this month's theme is the number 36 card and 36 equals a 9 and 9s are about cycles closing. This card is called Bubble Rider. The key word for this card is joy. Joy is the spirit's ultimate expression and a form of love. Mimic the fairies who express joy in all that they do. They dance and sing as they go about their daily business. Joy is a natural part of your being. It is your birthright. Joy comes to those who welcome it into their lives. Rejoice in all things. Really see the miracles around you. Many of us tend to push joy away. We feel we are not worthy of joy for one reason or another. Perhaps as a child, we were hurt or emotion was stifled. Sometimes we are afraid to allow ourselves to move into such intense emotion. The important thing to remember is that you are by nature a creature of joy. It is your natural state of being. You can choose at any time to stop pushing joy away and to allow its expression in your life. Do not feel guilty for your good fortune, but rejoice in it. As you accept more love and joy into your life, you also raise the quality of all other life on the planet. It may not be something you see immediately, but it is how the law of spirit works. Pay attention and you will see so many wonderful things in your world. The more you focus on these blessings, the more blessings you will attract into your life. Be joyful. Keep an open heart. The chant for this card is, I find joy in all things. Laughter fills my world. Lighthearted energy flows to all who are open to receive. The more I love, the more I am loved. Miracles continually happen for me, and I am blessed. So be it. Blow bubbles today, pink if possible. So the theme for this month is joy. Bring joy into your life. Be joyful. See the blessing in everything, in everyone, in every experience. Seeing things in a new perspective. Seeing that there are solutions to your problems seeing that 
The fairies are always happy in every single thing that they do. They bring joy and happiness and love into everything that they do. And that is what the theme for June is, to bring joy and happiness and love into everything that you do. Because when you do that, you open the door to fulfillment, you open the door to enlightenment, and you open the door to healing. So I'm just going to write down the title of this video so I don't forget. So what I'm really getting is that karmic cycles have either come to an end or are coming to an end. With Mercury being in retrograde the majority of this month, Mercury in retrograde is really going to help shift out of this energy that has been keeping things stuck, keeping things at a pause, maybe going backwards, because Mercury in retrograde is, in a sense, going backwards, because Mer Mercury does go backwards, but it also helps you go backwards to revisit a situation, to get clarity, to maybe redo something to get a second chance. Mercury in retrograde is going to help you come first full circle and be able to bring joy into your life. So remember, bring joy, happiness, and love into everything that you do. So next, we're going to get into what the monthly goals are for June of 2021. The deck I'll be using for the monthly goals is the Messages from the Mermaids deck by Karen Kay. Okay, so your first message is dreaming. Dreams, they have messages and dreams are when the most healing is done. One of the goals this month is to pay attention to your dreams. If you've been having vivid dreams or you might have vivid dreams this month, you may want to write them down, keep a dream journal. If you don't want to write them down, you could record them into a voice memo on your phone or a voice recorder. Interpret your dreams. They're very easy to interpret. You can do that on your own. What I do is I log the dream. I like to write things down. And then I look up the meaning of each thing that I remember in my dream. And I write how I was feeling when it was being done. Meaning if I'm dreaming of something that's supposedly negative or scary, but I wasn't scared, I was in control. I log that down. I look up the meaning and I get the message. Because dreams have messages. Dreams are bringing you the guidance, the answers. If you're confused about a love situation, you could be connecting with your person in dreams. That is helping the two of you connect in the 5D for the two of you to be able to come together if you're not able to come together in the 3D or things get complicated because it's so much easier to connect on a 5D level than it is in the 3D. A lot of healing can be done in a love connection, especially a love connection that is completely separated with no communication, bringing the joy back into your life, helping yourself see that there is so much more to this journey than just your person. The direction of the collective is just really being shown that it's time to go within to heal and your dreams are bringing forth that information. Another goal is abundance. So what type of abundance do you want to manifest into your life? Keeping a manifestation journal, having a manifestation jar, wearing crystals, or carrying things that will help bring abundance manifestation into your life, helping you stay focused. So if you're wanting to bring abundance into your life, 
whether it be love, career, money. Maybe you want to manifest a new car, a new place to live. Maybe you just want to manifest things going your way if they're not. It's all in your perspective. It's all in your beliefs. So you may need to shift your beliefs from the lack mentality to anything is possible and surrendering and allowing the universe to bring it to you. So this month, especially around the new moon in Gemini, you can set intentions to start manifesting abundance, setting goals, keeping a manifestation journal. A lot of people sell manifestation journals. You can buy one, you can create your own. Just writing down, logging what you want. Even if you don't like to write, you could do a vision board. You can write little notes and keep it in like a box or, or a jar. Just keep things near you that you want to manifest. The next goal is relaxation. So Spirit is saying for some of you to take a time out. If you have been going, 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 or maybe you have cleared a karmic cycle and you haven't um, got that reboot where your energy is at 100%, set the goal to do one thing at a time, to do things when you feel like it, and to relax, to make time for yourself. Relaxation is part of a self-care, self-love routine relaxing, taking care of yourself, making sure you're putting nourishing foods in you, drinking enough water, listening to your body, what it needs, sleeping when you need to, especially if you have a huge to-do list and you just can't wrap your brain around doing any of it. If your body's telling you to go to sleep, just unplug everything and go to sleep. You can do it tomorrow. Because you don't want to burn the candle at both ends. You want to take care of yourself. And your next monthly goal is healing. Healing the heart, healing the mind, and healing the spirit. Really being able to connect with yourself, with your higher self, with your spirit team, to see the direction that you need to go in, to see what needs to be focused on, what needs your attention, what you need to heal. If your focus is another person, you are being guided to shift that focus from them to you. And if anything or anyone does not feel good, Spirit is saying to shift the focus from that person, that situation to you.
what do I need to learn? Especially if it's something that is happening again, because Mercury in retrograde tends to bring up situations, experiences, people, even thoughts, patterns, beliefs from the past to come up one last time for you to learn the lesson and to heal. Have hope, have undying love for yourself, trusting that everything is going to happen for you and you are the only one who can guarantee the direction you go in. To embrace divine love, you have to embrace the love within yourself. You have to love yourself, flaws and all, because all of us have them, myself included. Honor your flaws, respect them, love them. They are a part of you and they are what makes you you. And allow yourself to have hope that whatever you're struggling with at this time will pass and you will be able to manifest something new. So let's get into what is shifting this month. So what is shifting for the collective in June of 2021? So we'll see what's shifting, what needs to shift, what Mercury in retrograde is helping shift and move forward. I'm going to be using the Oceanic Tarot by Jane Wallace. So the first thing that's shifting is the Knight of Wands activity. So if something hasn't been moving forward, if something has kind of been going very slow, what I'm feeling with the Knight of Wands, because Wands is the fire energy, so this could be a special message if you're Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, but just following your passion, following your heart, and being able to manifest what it is that you desire. Activity really just means taking the necessary action steps that you're being guided to take, to not be afraid to take a risk, to be able to just make a decision, stick to it, not second guess it, not overthink it. And I'm really drawn to the seahorses on that card. So if you resonate with a seahorse as a spirit animal, or maybe you're gonna start seeing them this month, seahorses are here to help guide you to tell you to be strong, to be fierce, and to know that you can make it happen. Because with the Four of Pentacles security, you are protected, you are secure. And the Pentacles energy, I'm really just hearing the word work. Work on yourself, work on the situation, work on finding the balance in your life to get you on the path to make that activity to make the steps forward that you have to take to really just know that you can manifest a new beginning but it takes time and it takes effort and it takes work and being the queen of the ocean which i believe in this deck is the queen of cups that's at least what i'm feeling with this card so if you're cancer pisces scorpio sun moon rising this could be a special message or this could just mean to get into the water energy, to get into the emotions, the feelings, and just know that you can manifest this abundance by loving yourself, by loving the journey, by loving what you do, by listening to your intuition, because the Queen of Cups is very intuitive. She's very sensitive. She listens to her intuition. She lets it take her down the road of self-love. She allows herself to be open to be vulnerable and to be fierce. And the Eight of Wands travel, I'm hearing movement forward. You will be able to move forward if you have been wanting to travel, the opportunity to travel, either within the country you live in or abroad, is going to present itself. Or this could mean you are just going to start moving forward. You're going to start living your best life. You're going to, I'm really feeling some, some of you or maybe a couple of you might get a new job where you travel a lot for your job, which is going to open the doors of opportunities. The ones, again, I'm hearing the word passion 
and it's just telling me with the page of pentacles that an opportunity is coming now pages are very young they're very small so a small opportunity a small opportunity window is going to open and it's not going to be open for very long but this opportunity is going to help you start moving forward and that is the opportunity that you are manifesting so make sure that you're resilient like the queen of swords but don't be too guarded don't guard yourself and block yourself from having this opportunity come in instead allow your intuition with the high priestess to allow you to trust and to move forward and embrace the moon energy just know that fear is an illusion fear is just your ego illuminate to yourself your fears, your doubts, your anxieties, your worries, and release them. And you will bring in this Three of Cups energy. Now, Three of Cups, I always see a celebration and community. Now, this card is reunion, so you could be reuniting with a love interest from the past, or you could be reuniting at a new place of employment. But whatever it is, just know that you can reunite. And I'm actually hearing the song Reunited by Peaches and Herb. So I will link that song below because that song has a special message for some of you or someone watching this video. So I'm hearing Reunited and it feels so good. So some type of reunion coming together, some big shift is coming. When you release your fear, when you go with the flow, you allow things to just manifest on their own time. You get out of your head. You get out of your way. You will see how quickly things will come. Next, we're going to get into what is releasing for the month of June. So what is releasing or what needs to be released? I'm going to be using the Power of Surrender cards by Judith Orloff. Surrender to your intuition. Tune into your inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, or aha moments that come through to guide you. So spirit is just saying to just surrender to your intuition. Your intuition is on point. Your intuition is here to guide you. Your intuition is always right. So your gut feelings, flashes, just knowings, aha moments, because whenever you second guess them, you will always find out later that you should have listened. And by surrendering to your intuition will help you surrender to play. You will take a break from overthinking a goal, do something fun. Play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation. So if there is a situation on your mind that you can't resolve or you can't get out of your head, when you surrender to your intuition and you release the ego, you get out of overthinking it and you'll be able to get into the energy to surrender to play. And that's going to help you surrender your addictions. Whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. So you'll be able to take the mask off to really go within to see what triggers you, what's causing blocks and obstacles, conflicts, challenges in your life. You will see if you have any addictions, if it's substances or alcohol, maybe with food you overeat or you stress eat, with people, maybe you're obsessed with a person or you have a, a negative, toxic person around you, or with sex, if you're just connecting with love partners just to have sex, or you're just choosing to just focus on work and not deal with your problems. Spirit is saying, surrender these addictions. And the way you can do that is by seeing the cause of it and what is keeping it from being released in your life. And the way you can do that is to surrender to receiving support and love. Allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. So you have people around you who want to assist you. Your family, your friends, your coworkers, your love partner, your spirit team, the divine, people like me, you are never alone, and the key to healing, the key to surrendering and releasing anything, 
You have to surrender to receiving support and love. To know you don't have to do this on your own. You can ask someone for advice, for guidance, just what you need to know. But at the end of the day, it is your decision to make. To decide if you're going to continue down this healing road. To change things. To find the joy. Or to keep going down the path that just keeps you from moving forward. The choice is completely up to you. It is what you choose to do and you may not be ready to do it today and that's okay. You will do it when you're ready. There is no timeline. There is no, you have to do it now or it's never gonna happen. You will do it when you feel it's ready. Just think about all the times, like if you had your heart broken, how you would tell yourself, I'm never gonna get out of bed. I'm never gonna wanna get out. I'm never gonna want to date again. And then over time you heal from that and you pick yourself up. I'm being shown when a child falls off their bike. They hurt, they cry, but they get up and they get back on the bike. That's what spirit's telling you to do. So next we're gonna get some guidance decks. So I have three guidance decks. So the first deck I'm going to use the Wild Wisdom of the Fairy Oracle by Lucy Cavendish. This is going to be love guidance, so this is just going to be general love guidance for the collective. This can apply to all types of love connections, all types of scenarios, label or no label that you resonate with. Your first message is child of the moon, number 36, which equals the nine. Forgiveness, transcending the ego. So the guidance for the collective for this month with love surrendering the ego surrendering to the intuition and forgiving forgiving another person for hurting you forgiving them for not being able to give you what you needed from them or what you wanted and maybe even forgiving yourself even if these past love partners are no longer in your life you can still offer forgiveness letting go of the past is what i'm hearing now this past full moon that we just had in Sagittarius that was a lunar eclipse was a very powerful full moon and it brought up a lot of emotions and it brought up a lot of things that needs to be healed. So if you think negatively about a person or speak negatively about a person, you expect things from them, you tell yourself, I'm, I'm not reaching out to them, they need to reach out to me, they need to apologize. All of that needs to be released because that's all ego-based energy. It's time to forgive. It's time to forget. It's time to heal the heart and to get into union with self because that is what the journey is about. And with the green man's door, number 40, which equals a four, portals to fairy, wheel of the year, Galactic and Gaian entry points. There is a door that wants to open when it comes to love. A new beginning. A change. A person that wants to come in, regardless of if it's a person from your past or a new person. It should not matter. The plant, the leaves, shows me something is about to bloom. Something is ready to come into your life. Something either is knocking on your door that you're not hearing because you're fixated or focused on someone or something else. Maybe something wants to heal and have a second chance, but you are not hearing it because you are focused on the past. So letting go of the past is going to open the portal to fairy. The wheels of the year shows me, I'm just really seeing the wheel of fortune, the wheel card in tarot. Let it start moving forward. And what that is going to do with the Merlin, number 33, which equals a six, guidance, mentorship, teacher of the old ways. Your intuition is trying to guide you. Your intuition is trying to tell you to open this door. To know that you have the knowledge, you have the wisdom to not repeat the past. Because even if it was you that made a mistake with this person or they made a mistake with you, a mistake doesn't have to be a mistake if you learn from it. It becomes a lesson. 
So the fairies are here to illuminate to you, to tell you that it's time to tune into your guidance of your higher self. And with the littlest fairy, the message is very simple. Number 20, which equals the two, and twos are about partnerships and balance. Appreciate the beauty and value of the exquisite and the small. So every experience that you've had with each person, appreciate the beauty and value, no matter how big, no matter how small, no matter how beautiful, it doesn't matter. Appreciate it. And just know that balance is going to be restored. But it starts from going within. And going within is into the woods. Number 29, which equals an 11. And 11s are about a new beginning. A stranger in a strange land. New experiences. Feeling uncertain. Transitions on. So by going into the woods, by going on this new journey, you will transition. You may feel uncertain, you may feel uncomfortable, but you will open the door, the green man's door, to new opportunities and a new beginning in love. Next, I'm going to bring you career guidance. So this is going to be guidance advice, just what you need to know when it comes to career and life purpose, because career and life purpose are usually tied together. And this can apply to any type of career field and life purpose. So I'm going to be using the Oracle of the Mermaids for this. So with visions, number 37, which equals a 10. 10s are about cycles, beginning. So you have visions, perhaps you're psychic or you have just your empath or you just have some type of psychic intuitive ability or you're getting premonitions or you just see yourself moving in a new direction. Trust that. Just trust that a new cycle is going to start this month that is going to put you on the path to this new career move. And with Yamaya, number 34, which equals a seven. So I'm really drawn to the number seven and I'm hearing July, so perhaps by July, you will have a new beginning because um, I'm just seeing the mother with the baby as a, re a birth, a new beginning. And Grandmother Ocean, you could have a grandmother who has passed on who is a guardian angel and she is helping guiding you and she is helping you have this new beginning. And a lot of things with your career are unseen at this time. Number four. So too much is hidden from you and that's not a bad thing. The universe is not allowing you to see how this is going to happen, when it's going to happen, where you're going to end up. The key to it all is to trust to just trust the divine has a plan for you and to just let them guide the way. So you may just need to take a time out from your thoughts. Number 36, which equals a nine, just have the awareness that something is coming, a change is happening. You will have deep contemplation. You may feel you need to go into solitude, to spend some time alone, to meditate, to journal, to just set goals this month and with coral's wisdom number 31 which equals a four colony delicacy fragility words works that are created over great periods of time so spirit is helping you create spirit is helping you build a foundation so just allow them to show you how to do it how to build your colony, who to align yourself with, and the direction that you need to go in. Simply trust is what I'm hearing. And if you're able to do that, you will find the endurance to keep going. 43, which equals a seven, and you will be able to go with the flow and you will be able to manifest something new. So next, I'm going to close out the guidance section with life guidance from the Oracle of the Fairies deck by Karen Kay. So this is just going to be general life guidance on just what you need to know as well as any action steps you may be guided to take in any area of life on your personal journey of self-love and healing. 
Protect your dreams. You are the guardian of your precious dreams and they are safe in your care. Keep them close to your heart until you're, re you're ready to release them. I'm getting two messages with this card. If you have dreams about venturing in a new direction in any area of life, keep that to yourself. Don't share it with too many people. You don't want to share it with too many people who are naysayers and who may influence your ability to manifest this. So as a motorcycle goes down my street, spirit is just saying to just make the decision to move forward and just be that solo journey, that one person on the motorcycle. And with the other message, just really protect yourself when you're sleeping because I'm just feeling psychic attacks. So just do maybe meditations to heal, to protect. There are some good meditations on YouTube and Spotify that can help with protecting your energy, protecting yourself, protecting yourself from any type of black magic. You can keep crystals around you, burning candles, just listening to, um, even if you fall asleep listening to meditation music that is geared towards clearing negative blocks and protecting you while you sleep. And you will have new beginnings in your life. The fairy godmother heralds the, joy the joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea. Protect and nurture your idea as you would a baby. So this, protect your dreams if it's business related. Maybe you want to start your own business or build your business to the point where you can do it full time. Protect this idea and don't share it with anyone. Keep it close to your heart and protect yourself. And if you're able to do that, you will see with precious time, the fairy of time wants you to experience every moment fully and make the most of your precious time. Be mindful not to waste others' time either. So what I'm really getting from this song is that there is no timeline on when everything is going to come. Stay present in the present moment. Enjoy it fully. And for some reason, the song Time After Time is playing. So I'm going to link that song below because that song has a special message for someone watching this video. So take your time. Just know that time is an illusion when it comes to the divine and that all your dreams will come into fruition in divine timing when it's time. And I'm going to close out this reading with some channeled affirmation messages from the Conscious Spirit Oracle deck before I head over into the extended reading. Now the extended reading is going to be on my Patreon channel. My Patreon channel is a monthly subscription, so if you would like to join my Patreon community, I have three tier levels of subscription. They all come with different type of content, exclusive content that I don't post on any of my other channels. Each tier level comes with its monthly guidance reading. There's a private Facebook group only for Patreon members, so if you're interested, you can click the link below to check out my Patreon to join our community if you feel guided to, but if not, I thank you so much for being here and I will leave you with channeled affirmations. Flames of Wisdom, 39, which equals a 12, and 12 equals a 3. I am open to all of life's wisdom and share it with gratitude. And with Spark of the Divine, number 27, which equals a 9. So we started this reading with a card that equals a 9, and now we end it. I reignite the divine spark within me and recognize I am part of all creation. I do hope this reading has brought you clarity and guidance on what the monthly forecast is for the collective for June of 2021. If you like this video, if it resonated, give this video a thumbs up. 
please feel free to share this with anyone who you feel would like to hear the messages in this reading. Thank you all so much for your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. If you are subscribed to my channel, please make sure the bell notification is set so you can be notified when I post a new video. If for any reason this entire reading or parts of this reading did not resonate with you, no worries. Hopefully I will tap into your energy in my next collective reading. Or if you feel guided to, you can book a guidance reading or session with me. Have a magical June love and light.